Where's James? Hello, mate. <laughs> ah, there you are. <laughs> I've got to put a finished coat on because oh, okay. this is all going to be white now on the main arch. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be the children's playroom. Yeah. So, as you can imagine, they uh, are going to need quite a durable paint. So, yeah, this is just your normal matte emulsion it's a good one i mean it's good for fresh glass this one i use it a lot this one but um but yeah it's good here yeah. covers better than a lot of normal mats if i'm honest when you're threading these pipes through holes it gets a bit difficult especially with that square end catching on the edges of holes so what i sometimes do is just taper the, the end of the pipe just to give us a leading edge. Yeah, one of those. One of those the other end. Do that. That bit. And of course, the other thing that you can do is drill your holes a bit bigger. That's it. There's a slight misalignment. Yeah, that's it. We're into the triple. Okay, just to breathe it. I always roll these little reveals because when you brush, obviously, as you can see, whatever brush you've got, you always get the brush strokes. And with the light coming in, it dries with a bit of a prominent brush stroke. That's why I do it quick, then roll it in, and then it's not, you know, you've not got the prominent brush strokes. This one's lovely. Let's hope it's the main stuff. But there's enough there. Okay. 22 liners. Mm, good. So they fixed the other end, James, these are they? Yeah, that's all goes around this all you know, piped up. It's always the same when the sun's out, it's drying as you're putting it on. And you have a really prominent set of lines going through. I'm not painting fresh plaster, but it is a pain to cover. Yeah. A lot of it, to be honest with you. You have to build up the coats. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, once, it once this one's dried in though, you'll notice a difference. Sometimes it goes on a bit see-through, and then um, it dry in better than it's actually going on. That's not easy. Don't mess around when you're going to go coring. You know what I mean? But to do them to get the crispest lines, yeah. I'll get the old frog tape. Normally that low tack one's best for the uh, for uh, cutting in the edges. But yeah, it's good stuff. I mean, this is gonna probably need a couple of bins and then and the bins for the knots on the. On yeah, the, I will bin. I'll bin all the posts here. Obviously, the end. Yeah, well, all the rest really. Uh, these I won't need to be, I can go straight on with an undercut with these because they're pretty fine, but the rest is getting all the zins up 100%. Probably a couple of coats, no doubt, and then maybe an undercoat, possibly two undercoats and a top coat. This is the most, this is probably the longest job out of the whole lot I've got here, if I'm honest. 
where are we going? Halfway across yeah. this? Is that? It's going to be where that strap is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to go into the wall. That's it, but I'll cut that down a bit. Yeah, yeah. Right, so we reckon that's about right up there. Yeah, so that's actually the centre line. 